All righty. I want to, work, I guess, welcome everybody once again to Singles Thursday night. We come to just invite everyone. We come to just midrash. We come to just see what's on our hearts. Uh, we come to just um, come to sit and talk. How about that? Why don't we just sit and talk and see what's on each other's mind? Um, but, you know, before we move forward, we want to always um, honor our Heavenly Father. So can we take just a moment and maybe just bow our heads, not in a rush, just kind of slow things down? Um, Father, Father, we come. We come with open minds, we come with open hearts. There is a lot going on, Father, all around us, in us, to us. We are surrounded by seemingly problems on every hand. But for this moment, we come to bring light in dark places. We come to honor you. We come to walk more in the direction of you. We understand that the direction of you always emphasizes love. We want to walk in that. We want to walk to that. We want a steady walk. It's kind of like this far. It's kind of like democracy. It's not a static thing. It's a constant thing. We know beyond the shadow of doubt, the rock, and that's you. We understand that. We want to stand on that. We want to move with that. So for this session and any others, we come in your name and we honor and live like your son. So these and all blessings we say in his name. Amen. So make sure. Oh, uh, welcome everybody. Um Shelly, are you there? I'm here, Mr. Joe. I'm going to be in the oh, well, background I, for a minute, but I'm here. <laughs> okay, yes. Uh, you have, I, I want to kind of start maybe with you kind of bringing a few things that's maybe going on present, and then we'll get into the other things that um, we kind of ended up last, on our last session last Thursday, we was talking at the end about um, new beginnings, endings, and principles. And we'll get into that, but I want to first start off with you with maybe some new things that are happening, kind of the, um, going on now uh, that you can enlighten us with. And then we'll get back more into kind of starting where we left off last week. How about that? Absolutely. All right, I'll give it a, give it a shot here. <laughs> Good <laughs> evening, everybody. Um, I, I really, you know, this week has been um, a very busy week for myself, and I, and I tried to think of something to talk to you guys about a current event that's going on and, and I, you know, and something that will tie into our message. And I just could not see, God could not, he couldn't lay it on my heart, really. The only thing that kept coming to my mind was George Floyd, and today was his birthday. Wow. And... Um, what, I've been thinking about it because I've been having conversations with uh, my son and with uh, my my daughter when it comes to you know them being out in, in society being being African American uh, kids, and it's just so funny that all week long we've been having this conversation about race and about how to interact with the police and how to behave because they were having some issues in school. So I said, wow, this is. You know, it's funny that we're having this conversation and then all of a sudden today is Mr. Floyd's birthday. And I just sat back and go, man, this is this is huge. This is a huge moment because this man's life was taken away simply because of the color of his skin. We don't know what George's future would have been like if this didn't happen, right? And so we have to now prepare ourselves for the what ifs. And that's what I was doing this week was preparing my kids for the what ifs. What if this happened? This is what you do. 
This is what right. you don't do. This is how you're going to stay alive. This is what you're going to do. So I started to use that, you know, uh, today when I when I got that notification that it was his birthday, and I started flipping that. I said, you know, this is why we're here in these singles classes. It's for the what ifs. That's right. It's for the what ifs, you know. And then God gives us that big old book called the Bible to teach <laughs> us and to show us, right? Yes. For yes. The what Come on. Ifs. Yes, is to prepare yes. us for those moments so we don't have a George Floyd moment. Not saying that it's not of God, not saying that God didn't know that was going to happen, but it's a, a teachable moment. Those are teachable moments. So we have to use whatever resources God gives us. If he's given us these classes, these sessions, he's given us the book, he's given us all these things to show us the what ifs. What if this happened? This is what you don't do. This is what you do. That's do. Right. This is how you want to come into these classes is to prepare yourself for the what ifs. We were talking about what's the hurry, right? What's going, what's the hurry? What's the hurry in dating? Yes. You know, so you want to prepare. You don't want to rush. I love how you intro it this the, today, Joe. You said, let's, let's slow it down. Let's just bring the bring the temperature <laughs> down because I felt like today was just a world. This week has just been yes. whoop, 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 yes. running by. Yeah. So we don't want to rush anything. We want to slow it down. We want to use these tools, these resources. Miss Marilyn, you know, produces daily, daily yeah. resources. You can't, you know, listen to her or listen to groups like this and say, "Well, I didn't know. Ain't nobody ever told me how to date. I didn't know nothing." This is why we're here. So you you know something. So, you know, I don't want to be too deep. I, you know, I know my current events are usually the fun part of it. <laughs> <You know? laughs> but um, it just hit my heart this week that we've just been, we, we, we're, we're given so many resources to prepare us for the what ifs. And, and we just have to take, take note of that and make sure we use that. Right. And, and we don't yeah. end up, you know, end up lost. This dating world is crazy. Um, but it could be fun. It could be yes, fun. Yes, you want to make yes. sure that, you know, you're prepared for the bad, but you also want to prepare for the good. Yes. Yes. You know? oh, yeah. That's what I got. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, the thing about it, Shelly, and, and, and thank you for bringing that up. I mean, the thing that I hear from you the most is that, you know, heart, heartfelt, you know, mm -hmm. the thing, the things of the heart, you know, I, I'm learning as we go, but I, I, I know I, I say some things in repetition, but I learned that, you know, learning is simplicity and repetition. Keep it simple, but keep it simple, but significant. And you don't have to rush through this the situation. Purpose is a well-lived life and purposeful. You want to be purposeful in this and, and, and to slow it down. You know, um, I, I'm learning, first of all, that in all of us is a spark of God. And when you start to spend that time with God and, mm -hmm. and reverence who he is, you know, and you wake up those dormant forces within you that when they come out, uh, you, 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 you allow God to pour into you, yeah. living in your heart, getting those things out that's not of God. You know, mm -hmm. the question comes, that light, that beautiful light, you know, I always said I was talking, uh, not to myself, but sometimes you ride and you, it's, things come on you, whole lot yeah. of thoughts. And I was mm -hmm. thinking, I was thinking this, there's, there's Hollywood and there's Hollywood, okay? Mm -hmm. And you say, okay, what, what are you talking about, Mr. Go? All right, all right, I get it. Since you asked, I'm gonna bring it to the light, you know? Hollywood mm -hmm. is like this. First of all, we need to go back and, and know that we already a star. Your life, your platform, your life is. You already are a star and you need to know that. 
And the thing is, your life is your platform. Mm -hmm. We always say we have to have a platform for this and you have a platform for how, no. Hollywood looks at it like this. They want the light to shine on them. And when you have Hollywood, again, anything in the heavenly realm is opposite of the earthly realm. So here we go, here we go. You wake up those gifts and talent that God has within you. And then all of a sudden, you are so inspired. Inspiration comes up out of you this beautiful light, the things that God said, if you seek me, you'll find me. I live in your heart. All of a sudden, the light comes up out of you, you illuminate mm -hmm. and everything around you is clearer because you are that beacon of light. You're that beacon of light. Yeah. And that's when we are called to be children of light. We're not called to be children of darkness. Right. And you and you are that. We need to know that. You are. You know what? And I and I completely, I completely agree, you know, but it's hard when you're competing with social media and you're competing with news outlets telling us that we're not, you know, showing us daily that, you know, our skin color defines us, that the light that's inside of us, the God in us. Is, is it it doesn't exist and so we have to make sure that we are you know pushing and and, and showing people that like what you said the holiness the, that the light is in us that we are the stars we don't need hollywood we are already superstars in the eyes of god and so but we have to make sure we're, we stand firm in that because if we don't and we let social media and society rule over us, we're gonna constantly, you know, keep looking, keep looking and searching for that star, for that light, but it's already in us. We already have it. You know, that's true. So, it's so just, how do how, so how, Shelly, do we keep that going? And anybody else on on the on the um ready, I mean on the uh Zoom conference or the Zoom session. If you have something you want to bring when the topic come up, you know, just allow, you know, and speak what's on your mind. It's an open forum and we want to hear from you. We want to hear your heart. What is your heart saying today about anything that may be brought up here? So I was saying, Kelly, I mean, Shelly, what is that to you? I mean, what do you mean when you say we have to keep it going? What is that for Shelly? we have to keep fellowshipping exactly what we're doing now you know that's why we have bible studies and, and, and sunday services and and you know thursday night classes you have to continue to keep fellowshipping and keep lifting each other up keep talking about the, the word keep talking about life issues and, and you know like we're doing now with dating and stuff like that whatever is prevalent whatever is on our hearts we need to keep talking about it and, and the more we, we fellowship with each other, the more we educate each other and talk to each other about everything is the more it'll just sink in. No one's gonna be able to speak life into you and speak death into you, I'm sorry, because we're speaking life into you. That's and you're right. continually getting life put into you. I, I'm telling you, like I've said before on many occasions, when I first, before I started this, these, these sessions with Miss Marilyn, I would have felt for any joker <laughs> any, any, <laughs> well, how do you say any Tom, Dick, or Harry? I would have felt for Tom, Dick, Harry, Ricky, Bobby, Ronnie, all of them, because I was not fellowshipping. I was not being fed. You know, no one was talking about singleness. We're all talking about, you know, revelation, and we're all talking about all these things that at this moment in time wasn't. It wasn't what I was looking for. I was looking how do, how do I date my brothers and sisters? How do I how do I you know have built strong relationships with people and this is why this is so important because we all need this whether you're actively dating or you're just you know your friendships you need to learn how to do this right because i came to realize it's been me all along it ain't been these men <laughs> it's been me 
All right. You know, and I will admit that, and I'm sure they would be happy to hear me admit that. <laughs> but, you know, you just, and that's why it's important to fellowship. I think the devil, you know, like the Bible says, where two or more are gathered. Yes. It's, it's, yes. It's, that's where the strength is. That's where this is going to come into play. The more you show up, the more you keep being fed, the more you open up, the more you open up your mic and speak is the more it's the more knowledge you gain the more the more strength you gain That's and right. then you know you'll be able to start start being confident um yeah i don't know if she's on the line but there was the young lady that spoke last week man i got off the call and i said a prayer for her i don't know if it was last last week's call but she was saying she's been single for over 20 years and um the the person that she i think she was married to him um you know wouldn't take her out or made her feel, you know, a certain way. Right. Uh, I think she's on the line. I think it was Tracy. I, I, I want to say that's her name. And um, I just remember her story and it just, I mean, I immediately yes. off the call started praying for her. Cause I, I just, I've been there. I've been there where you just, someone has made you feel so low that it, it takes a while to just shake it off. It just takes a while to shake it off. And even when you think you got it, even when you think you, you, you're, you're victorious, someone might say a word, say something, do something, and it brings it right back. Yeah. But this is why these sessions and, and just fellowship, and like I said, that's, that's the cure, is to continually to be fed, um, to, to be supported, you know, be in a support group, you know, uh, talk about your issues so we can pray for each other. We yes. can lift each other up. Because that's that's what's gonna win. No matter what society might do to you, say to you, you will win. Oh, because yeah, absolutely. Oh, she is on. Hello, I, um, I have something <laughs> to say. And, oh, yeah. Hey, how are y'all today? We're good. We're good. <laughs> I want to say, and it's okay to be single. You know, right. it's mm -hmm. okay <laughs> to love yourself and be by yourself. You don't, mm -hmm. we don't have to always go out here searching for a man, mm -hmm. you know, you don't have to have, you, you know, or feel alone because as long as you have the, the, as long as you have the man above you fine, because at the end of the day, you have to learn how to love yourself before you love anybody else. That's and right. And you That's have right. to learn how to be by yourself before you can even be with somebody. How are right. you gonna be with somebody if you haven't even worked on you yet? That's right. And you don't even so, like you. Some, some of us yeah. don't even like you. <laughs> right. So <laughs> you know, I you know, we might think we ready, but sometimes we need to sit back and check our own self out. That's right. And see what is it, what 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 am I doing? She Sheena, what can you do to make the next relationship better? Or what can you know we do to make our dating a little better? What 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 are you doing wrong or what what repetition are you doing? It could be on dating websites. If that ain't working, maybe you need to check, sit back and say, okay, that ain't that ain't got me nowhere. I might need to do something different. You know, and so we have to figure out why are we always in these situations to where we feel like we gotta have somebody or 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 when you do get somebody, you you you're just in a toxic situation and you just can't get out of it. So that goes back to say you have to focus on you and take your time and be patient because That's when right. that time comes, God, He's gonna put He's gonna put that special person in your life, but you have to be patient and obedient. That's right. You know, and and I've learned that since I moved up here. You know, when I was in Tyler, I, I remember when uh, Shelly asked um, a question um, a while back, and she said what would you do if you was in a relationship or would you be ready if God sent you? That's what the question, I think it was. Yeah. You said, what would you do if God sent you a man now? What would you do? Would you be ready? Mm. You know, I remember mm -hmm. that question. That mm -hmm. question stuck on me. Mm -hmm. And now when I look back on it, I'm not even sure anymore because I still got a lot of work I need to fix right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you sometimes you got to go back. It's okay to go back in and reevaluate yourself. That's right. Yeah. Sometimes That's right. you got to go back in and reevaluate yourself, and 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 what's it called? Take a chill pill for a little bit and, <laughs> and figure out what's going on. So I just you know 
wanted to share and, that and open up the lines tonight tonight yeah because that you know that feedback you have to not only you know when you go back you have to make sure you're ready for when for what the results are that's right that's right, I was, that's right. I, like i said i was not ready for the results because it was me i kept saying well they did it and he did it and he cheated and yeah. he lied but how many yeah. times did he do it i allowed it to happen right yes. i have to put some blame on that you know relationships are are two ways it works two ways so i, I love right. that Sheena. you know you have to definitely put a mirror up stare in that mirror and look at yourself look at yourself and i think i also in that session i think i might have said you know take a look at that mirror because sometimes some of us we look physically worn down and we you know look like life has been doing some things and you, then you expect them to treat you like a queen well you don't even look like a queen you're not even <laughs> holding yourself up like a queen yes you know yes. we can't keep you know dating is is a two-way street so i i appreciate you, uh, sheena for that one that that really you know that's it right there you said you said a lot <laughs> and yes, you know what shirley was. um another thing i'm so grateful for this type of session because it's a lot of women and men out there who needs this type of organization mm -hmm. and yes. like you said earlier it's a lot of us that's not being fed right you remember how we talked about or kelly and how he was raised and yeah, he get, you know, he didn't get the, you know, maybe he just wasn't taught right. Yeah. Well, you know, when you build a good foundation, All right, and you yeah. have good people around that can support you, what you call mm -hmm. it a support group. OK, right. Yeah. Right. If you have that great foundation with that support group. I'm telling you, we will all we, we will all be just very mindful and, and, and we, we would just be wonderful but it's so many people out there that don't have this type of you know group that we have and I'm just so thankful for that because it's never too late to be involved in stuff like this that's right uh, you yeah, know absolutely. so um you know I always think about you know our young women and our men that's out there that that don't even have this type of you know group that we have and and, you know, I think it's very important that we speak up and hear ourselves. It's okay to yes, hear yes, right. yourself. It's not a such thing as, oh, this may not sound right. Or I'm, mm -hmm. this, I, 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 I don't know. Speak up because we need this type. This is what this group is for. Yes, it's for yes. you to speak out loud to hear yourself. Yes. Because that right there, you never That's know, that could help anybody. Mm-hmm. It's yes. kind of like when you go out there, what you do, you go out there and protest so you can be heard like they yeah. did with Floyd. When you, if it's, so, if it's that important, you want to be heard, you're going to go out there and protest. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Come on. You know, so, you know, I just wanted to share that. I'm sorry. No, no, no. no. Good, good. <laughs> no. Take over, girl. Take over. <laughs> That's all right. Speak your mind, you know, and in all of that, I'm hearing this and it's, it's, you know, enlightenment is the ego's greatest disappointment. Enlightenment is so important. And, and what we are doing when we come to session, we enlighten each other. We enlighten uh, each other to the totality of yourself. We get into the conscious you. You know, the one thing we all must know and know beyond the shadow of a doubt that you are conscious. None of us born without a conscience. And the whole idea is to reverence that. We got to get higher than the five senses, get way beyond. You have to go up in to that. It's a level or a frequency. I always say it's there. And we're on a different frequency because we want to get beyond the five senses. And you got, when you do that, you get into the higher dimensions. It's, it take it higher within yourself and, and to know that is needed. You know, there's too much quietness. You know, we was talking about, you know, things going on around us every day, um, social media, propaganda. You got all of this negativity all around you all the time. And you say, well, where do we go? We go up and in ourselves. We take ourselves to a whole nother level. 
And what does that look like? That looks like this. We look at our universe. Our universe is positive. We have to have positive thoughts. When our thoughts are in harmony with the universe, pos positivity happens. And we, we need that. We need that to be light. You know, we are more afraid of living in our light and staying in our darkness. We have to get past that. Wow, well, that was good right there. Mm -hmm. Get past that. We are more. We are, we are so, so much more and need to understand that, get an understanding that our deepest, you know, we've been talking about either walking towards God, which is love, or walking towards fear. Enlightenment negates fear because you are enlightened to something, maybe what the world say. When you get to a point, you can care less mm -hmm. what the world say. You can get to a point, you can care less who like you and who don't you. you. When you learn that you don't have, if you live for others' affection, you'll die from that rejection. That is Ooh. not where you are. Your focus don't need to be there. Your fo focus needs to be on God and who God said you are. Mr. I, Joe, I gotta, I, can I jump go in real quick? Yes. You are, listen, I, is, Sheena, is Sheena still on the line? Okay, she's still on yes. the line. Yeah. You, does this sound familiar? Because me and Sheena, we were on the phone the other night, or was it last night? And we it were on the, the day phone before. Yeah. Oh, the day before. <laughs> <laughs> and we were talking about something, we were talking along the lines of this that, you know, you know, we're, we're looking at changing careers and, we're, you know, and I was telling her about, I'm not trying to, you know, get, you know, get uh, positions that, you know, have the name and the title and the accolades and the, and the pay scales, because that's what everybody expects from me. Yes. Everybody expects you to be at this yes. level. You yes. 43, you should be making X, Y, Z. You should have this, you should have that. I'm, I'm choosing happiness. I'm choosing peace. Yes. At whatever cost that is. Yes. Whatever. If that means a lower paying job, if that means, I don't know, uh, less status, whatever that looks like, whatever the peace looks like, whatever my happiness looks like, I'm going for that. Yes. That is the goal. That is the aim. And when we talked about it, you know, her and I were comparing, comparing schedules and notes. It was just funny how everything was, what was going on with me is what she was about was going through. And it's just confirmation when she heard it through me that she now knows that her route where she needs to go. And again, that's what fellowship is about. That's what's coming yep. and talking to each other, yep. hearing each other's voices. You yeah. come in here every Thursday, not saying anything, not right. you know, out. You're holding back your blessings. You're holding yes. stuff back. Yes. God didn't put you here just to listen. He put you here for a reason. And I know right. I'm very shy. I'm not a public prayer person. Marilyn has brought that out of me. Okay. <laughs> I don't do it. And I'm just saying it, it, it's baby steps. I'm learning little step yes. by step yes. by step to the yes. point where now here I am, you know, part of hosting and leading. Who would have thought that? <laughs> Well, you know, Shirley, like I told you the, the night before, you know, I, I told you, I said, I'm proud of you. And I, and I told you, I said, you know, um, I've seen how far you came along and, um, and you just came a, a long, long, a long way. And I just want you to know that I'm, I'm very proud of you as a black young lady of how you <laughs> became. And, um, you know, it's very important for our black sisters to, to support one another. And oh, yeah. you know, as a sister, I would like to let you know that I love you and you always keep thriving for what you believe in because God has something in store for you. It's just right around the corner. Right Your blessings corner. are coming. So you just Amen. keep doing what you're doing, young lady. <laughs> Amen. Back at you, sister. Back Man. at you. <laughs> and that's that what is. it is. You know, relationships. It's not just dating. I had to learn how to be a sister to my sisters. That's right. I, and I've also testified on that, that I just didn't trust women. Yeah. And so that relationship, that, that, that has also been restored talking yes. to other women and exchanging our phone numbers and calling each other and yes, texting each other. Yes, Keeping yes, each other yes. you know, held up 
that stuff helps. Yeah. There's times I, I don't even think that anybody even thinking about me, a word about me. And I get a text from one of the young ladies. I'm going, hey, okay. Yes, yes, yes. You know, so it's it's power in, in, in relationship. It's power in, in, in this group. So thank yes. you, Sheila. I appreciate you. <laughs> oh, absolutely. And that's, that's, that's beautiful from the standpoint. See, when you help others get what they want, you get everything you need. <laughs> Amen. I was, yes, I was talking a little bit at the end of the last session, and I was talking about sowing and reaping and giving starts the receiving process. See, you, the principles of God work. And what do you mean by that? Principles never change. Time and man change, but principles never. The principles of, of our heavenly father will be here too for sure. The principle of sowing and reaping will be as long as the earth is the earth. The principle of gravity. Now, you go jump off a building and think you're going up. That ain't going to happen. The law of principle don't work like that. You jump off a building, you're going down. So you got, you can't, well, anytime, wow. anytime you go against a principle, you're going to lose. <laughs> and some people, some people come like this, Shelly. They come to take more than they give. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you and you ask the person, they say, well, I, I never, I don't receive much. Well, I can point them in the direction and say this. What are you giving? If you haven't mm -hmm. received, then check your giving. And Sounds you like tithing to me. Yeah. Uh, it's, <laughs> it, it, it all goes back. It goes back to the principle. Mm -hmm. our, our Lord and Savior said, the greatest among you must be the servant of all. That's right. That's the truth. That's his That's truth. Right. You know, Marilyn was on last week and she was saying all of a sudden, abundance, receiving is coming from everywhere. But you go back and, you go back and look where you gave, the giver. Yeah. The giver never loses because it's a law. It's set up that way. But yeah. if you work the principle, the principle work. We come into this session to give up each other. But we realize none of us is as smart as all of us, but we need each other. Yes, we do. We need each other. We are more alike than not alike. But we have these phobias that comes from a place of hurt or whatever that we haven't gotten over. You know, and the thing about it, you have to work on getting those out of you. Shelly, you have blocks. You continue to blocks. And the truth of the matter is, when you seek the things of God, you will find them. He don't hide stuff from us. He hides stuff for us. And when you seek that and find it, all of a sudden, your eyes are wide open to the newness you have a different fragrance about you. We, we, we armor ourselves with the things of God, but also we are a fragrance of God, mm -hmm. a continuous fragrance. And that's where we need to be. We was talking about earlier being too quiet. And I always said, it's great to spend time in silence and I always say there are many answers. That is true. But once we get the answers, we don't keep it to ourselves. We need to get it on the move. We need to get That's it right. wherever we go. That light that I was talking about earlier, not Hollywood, but Hollywood on the move. And we don't have to have a Bible and, you know, this stuck to our arms and glued. No, we relax. Mm -hmm. We relax yep. and cheer and learn. I always That's say right. this. Teach from your behavior, not your words. That's right. But when you do That's speak, right. when you do speak, speak those speak. things that are kind. Mm -hmm. That's, That's where right. you want to be. 
And when we have new beginnings, the new beginnings start now because that's all we got to, to deal with in nowness. We have to be in the now. You know, one of the greatest gifts that you can give yourself, in my opinion, is this. You said, what is that? Give yourself time to be fully in the present moment, nowness. Any other place is not nowness. This is where we are this evening. This is where we come. We don't keep coming here because nothing is not gathered here or, or gotten from this. There's always a takeaway because when two agree, that's a powerful thing. Agree? Yes, it is. In this society? Mm -hmm. Think about that. All the stuff around, what do we have to do? We have to equip ourselves daily. Mm -hmm. Mercy is mercies. I knew. His grace yeah. is a new, it's a new every day. And if it's new every day, we must show it to ourselves first before we can give it out. That's right. Self-love. Yes. You gotta and have it. it. Oh yeah. It's 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 continuous. Never never stop. And it's always room to learn from anyone if you take time to just listen. Listeners, yeah. leaders, listeners. Okay. Listen and Go pay ahead. attention to those and pay attention to those red flags too. Pay attention yeah. to those signs because you know in, in your quiet time, you know, when you are you know with God and you're you're just having that moment with him, he's gonna reveal some things. That's that that's why he he requires those times with him. And you know, so that way you're prepared. You you can you can see those red flags coming a mile away. That's right. Know? And even if you can't see them, you'll know. You'll know. Yes. You'll know. Yes. We, you know, if you want to call it a woman's intuition or you know whatever you want to call it, you know, good luck. To, I don't care. Whatever you believe in, go with that. Because we need you. You can't just make excuses anymore. No. Not when you're being poured into, not when you're, you've been coming to these classes, not when you've been told the truth. You can't right. say, well, this didn't work out this time because there's no more because. That's right. You know, and that's what I, that's what I tell myself. And, you know, now that I'm going, been going through these, these, these classes for months with, you know, when I do decide on dating, which I have, I immediately saw things I didn't like off the, off the top. And I said to you guys, you know, I, I saw it and I ran away and I let the guy know, nope, not interested. Nope, not interested. That's but right. that old Shelly would have just stayed in there to make it work. You know, oh, it's, it's no big deal. Making excuses, you know, trying to rush through because, you know, my the, the clock is ticking. The clock is ticking. You know, here we go again talking about what's the hurry. I'm rushing, <laughs> trying to get into a relationship. Yeah. And yeah. you knew and you either A, you miss out on those signs. Or B, you ignore those signs. That's right. So I don't know about you, Mr. Joe, but I don't want to miss out on no more signs. <laughs> I don't want to go through the same crap I've been through with other relationships. I want God's relationship. I want that kind of relationship yes, where yes. it does not hurt. It does not brag. It does not boast. That kind of love. That's right. It's out there. We just have to be patient and enjoy this ride that he has us on but enjoy it and serve and be patient. And, and, and that's, that's where I'm at right now with my, with my walk. You know, I would love to hear what everybody else is doing right yes. now in their walk. Like what are, what is your singleness right now look like? Are you actively dating? Are you, are you, you know, just learning how to redate again? What's, what's going on with everybody? I would love, if you want to put it in the chat, that's fine. But I would love to hear, oh, actually, uh, Tam Tamara, just put a uh, comment in there. Tamara, sorry. Um, I choose to wait on the Lord, too. I have 18 years of sickness, getting ready and 
staying in preparation for right timing, the mm -hmm. right timing, the Lord. Keep the heart of the Lord, pureness of love and wisdom that comes from him. That's right. Still multitasking at work. Oh, and listening. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but that's true. It's so yeah. true. Like you just have to, you know, keep your heart on the Lord, like she said, and, and choose to wait on him. Um, 18 years. Wow. I'd I wish I'd love to hear a little bit more about that, what that looks like. But um, and I know Tracy has a similar story as well. I'm only uh, five years in the game. So I don't know how, how yes. y'all is. It's, I, but you know, I, I can see that. I can see it. I can see if that does, if it can happen because lot, people out here crazy. I love my people. But yes. Some of us, we are, we are just absolutely been um, swallowed by the world. Like we just, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with our, with our, you know, men and women, but you know, a lot of us have just been been brainwashed so much that, you know, or I don't, I just, I don't know how to do it, but I can see lasting that long because you want to be, you want to make sure this time around, if you decide to jump in that wagon, that it's the right wagon you jump it into, that you're not just hitching up with anything and anybody. So that's where I'm at. I would just, you know, love to hear where everyone's at. Tamara, thank you so much for that. Um, you know, are you dating? Are you actively dating? What does it look like in your world today? You know, are you on are you on a singles uh, dating site? You know, what are you doing to to uh, you know get yourself out there? Anybody, if you want to put yeah. it in the chat or yes. open your mics yes. up, we'll, yes, we'd love to hear. You know, I, I'll start with me. You know, okay. um, my thing is, um, like I was saying, there's a lady in my life. And the beauty of it all is this. I'm able to mid-rash. I'm able to sit and we talk about different things again. Biblical truth, bounce things off each other. What is your thoughts about this? What are your thoughts about this? And just listen to each other and, and know that, you know, you are your own unique person. Never lose that. Never look, uh, understand. Anytime I move towards love, and I know I reiterate that a lot, I'm always moving in the direction of the things of God. I'm going to be a person that gives. I'm gonna be a person that has purpose. Purpose always have three things, loving, giving, and serving. You know, now what am I doing? I'm mimicking the very essence of the universe. See, we're all personalities, but we need to move up into our consciousness. Now, Let's, let's just talk a little bit, if it's okay, since we're talking here. Let's talk about, I always talk about the soul thing. And I know it's important because any of us on here, I, only, I see your personality, but your soul is huge. Your soul is a big why. You a small why. You say, well, why is that? Because the soul knows your will, your emotion and mind. Let's just break it down. Let's just say the soul is this big mothership. And what I do, I come to serve my soul. This, 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 this personality. I come to serve the energy of the soul, I'm in alignment, I'm in the will of God. Because first and foremost, the soul is the immortal part of you that never dies. It doesn't march to the grave, the flesh marches to the grave. But why I'm in this earth school, I'm, 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 
I'm bringing energy. I'm serving the soul. It's serving God. And when I'm serving God, I'm going to be blessed. Now I can stray off and we have, we all have strayed off. We got on this little old canoe or boat and kind of went on our own. Rocky out there, real rocky. Now, even under the mothership, it's going to be a little rocky. But who's leading? I'm being led by God. Christ, how you want to call it? I'm doing, I'm serving. It gives you the desires of your heart. Serving. Those that diligently feed me, seek me. I will reward them because I'm in alignment with the very essence of how things are done. The universe, how it operates. And when I'm on that path, Things open up. My heart is heartfelt. We come into here. Shelly, you said it. You felt heart for somebody on the line because you can relate to that. All of us has been through, but are you willing to admit it openly? Mm -hmm. This brings some openness because you're transparent. You're like, wow, yes, it happened to me. But I made it through, through the help of God. We always reference what got us through. Amen. And, 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 and in this earth school, that's what we're in. We're in an earth school for so many years mm. to, do, to do the work. We're in an earth school. We don't come here to stay. We come here to do what we need to do and out of here. You called it an earth school? I like that. I never heard it put like that before. Yeah, it's the earth school. We're in, <laughs> we're in the earth school, and I guess we all got a class, or we all bring something. We can work on something. We can work mm -hmm. on thyself mm -hmm. to make thyself better, becoming that, that most let God pour his love in you, and you become his most perfect harmony. Mm -hmm. And you spread that. That's where I'm at. I'm, yeah. I, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna say this. I'm allowing the spirit to come in first place. I don't mind being second place. Don't mind at wow. all. That's right. That's alignment. It's That's alignment. Right. And anybody on the line, that that was my time. I want to pass the baton on to somebody else and let them speak their heart. Amen. I'm a, I'm a still at that earth school. I'm a still at Joe. <laughs> oh, yeah. You, <laughs> you I love that. There. It's all here to be shared. Mm -hmm. yeah. Karen, Karen is sharing. I got it I for just, somebody. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to point that. I'm going to put that. I'm going to post that somewhere. I'm going oh, yeah. to sit on yes. that for a minute, but I might yes. post that. Post earth it. School. Post it. Yes. We are in an earth school. That's it's so it. true. Yes. Everything's a learning experience. We're, you know, mm -hmm. oh, this is, it, it, it's, it's like when you read the Bible, like when I write, read the Bible, it sounds so easy. God's commandments and God's, you know, what he wants us to do, love each other. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's, it's us that make it so hard that we mm -hmm. can't pass the class. Yeah. You know, I'm yeah. stuck in, I'm stuck in uh, ninth grade. <laughs> right right i just can't get out of ninth grade yeah you know and, and it's it's it, actually no i'm i'm i feel like i'm a sophomore now i think i've moved yeah from yeah. freshman because yeah. if i want to you know put it in terms that everyone can understand when you're a freshman you wet behind the ears you don't know what's going on that's right that's right you know yeah. if you fall you fall victim to every tom dick harry and everybody you just you just out here right yeah and, and I feel like now I'm a sophomore in this earth school world because, you know, <laughs> I, I'm learning how to build relationships, but yes. I started myself. I started dating myself a little while, taking mm -hmm. myself out to eat, taking myself out to events. Oh, yes. Taking myself out to get my hair, nails done, 
you know, participating in, in events that will build me up, not put me down. Right. You know, and, and so on. And so I built me up first with this, with the help of God and, and, and just using that, using that to where, like you were saying, my light is starting to shine to the yes. point where others, people don't even, people who would have normally wanted to be around me, like, you know, bad character people, you know, questionable mm-hmm. people, they walk right past me, like they don't even see me. <laughs> they don't even notice me because my light is, is when I'm oozing out, they, they, they can't see it. No, they can't. Mm-hmm. They can't see it, you know, and, and you know, if I'm explaining that right, you know, and, the, and you want, you want, you know, when you're sitting down at the table with someone um, that you're possibly thinking about dating or whatever the, the issue is, you want that to be the first thing they see. Yes. And, yes. and once they see that, once they know you are about your father's business, yes. like you're not here to play. You're not here, you know, to, to, to dance around this issue and, you know, okay, I'll come over to your house, but we ain't going to do nothing. Come on now. <laughs> come on now. You know, yeah. you don't, you're not, you're about your father's business. No, I'm not going to come over to your house, but thank you for the invitation. Yes, that's right. Thank you for the, and they will know this girl is about her business. This, yes. this man is about her father's business. So yes, that's, that's where I'm at is just walking in that, walking in what God said. This is what he said for us to do. Yes. And life is so much easier. Yes. We make yes. it so hard. And like I was telling Sheena, the minute I decided to choose happiness and just choose that alone, yes. I don't care what that looks like. I'm working from home. Never thought I would ever work from home. That's Never, right. And, and, and actually enjoyed it because I love being around people. Yes. And now that I've been home for the last five, it's going on five weeks that I've been working from home, I realized I didn't love people as I thought. <laughs> I don't <laughs> I don't need to physically be around them. I've been on Zoom meetings all day. I'm, you know, yeah. I'm talking to you guys in the Zoom. And that's okay. It's it's the new normal, I guess, you know. And I find it so more so much more um productive because I'm able to give my time freely now. Yes. yes. I, I'm not in a I'm not in a so-called uh the rat race, you know. I'm not right. fighting traffic and I'm not, you know, having to to rush and get home and, and get dressed and do this and check. I don't, I don't have those, those, those problems. Mm-hmm. And yes, my, my, my income might have went down, but who cares? I'm, <laughs> That's right. That's I'm right. in my pajamas all day, y'all. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm productive. My kids see me more, you know, right. uh, life is different. I'm able to to go out and, and fellowship with people when I choose to, not because I have to. That's right. And so that's what my happiness looks like. And that's that's mm-hmm. my hope for everybody on this line is once you start doing that, that work, once you start putting in that work, once you start allowing God to just feed you and, and, and let him just heal those wounds, let him wipe those tears. And once he starts allowing him to pour into you, Life as we know it, as God, as uh, Sister Joe said, Earth School, you're gonna graduate. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna graduate. Yes, yes. It, yes. It, 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 it might not look the way you call, you, you designed it. I think Sheena was saying, even with you know our degrees, like you're walking around here with what Bishop used to say, with more degrees than a thermometer. Yes. You, <laughs> you're walking around here with all those degrees and ain't got nothing to show for it because that's not what's important. It don't, yes. It don't matter. No. It's happiness. No. No. Happiness. Mm. <laughs> Sheena laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. It's but true. Yes, I know so many people true. that got degrees, man, and they had they 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 the manager at McDonald's. You didn't need all those degrees for that. Not knocking McDonald's. Not saying that. That I'm just saying we're doing stuff in life sometimes to just people please and people yes. please yes. and we're not making ourselves happy yes yes we're not going yes. out for that what god designed us to be what he designed us what's our purpose mm-hmm. and sometimes our purpose does not look like it's a financial blessing Mm-mm. you know it might just be you're just happy you know like she was saying earlier if i'm gonna be single for 18 20 plus years i want to be happy while i'm doing that i don't want to be miserable 
Mm-mm. You know? Mm-mm. So that's just it. Earth school. I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Shelly, you not gonna you gonna you're not gonna mess me with that earth school, girl. You got me liking that earth school. But okay, you know, I'm, I'm a soft I'm a soft said soft that earth, you know that um that place in the mall called that um that earth that earth place you go inside the mall, they got all that. When he said that, I said, "Oh, I think I think I can relate to that. I think I can do <laughs> that." <laughs> but Earth yeah, it, I, yeah, you <laughs> have, yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It don't matter. I told Sheena the other day. I I can't tell the last time I went to a job interview, and they said, "Well, ma'am, I need to see your diploma, your degree." You right. know, my degree don't ha- half times don't get me in the door. Right. You know. I, I th- I think, you know, in all of this, and again, it's a learning process to us all. When you realize this, when you discover, uh, let me, how do I want to put this? When you come to know who God wants you to be, Mm -hmm. or when you trust in yourself, your trust in the wisdom that created you. Mm-hmm. And see, what is the wisdom that created you? Okay. You, all of us on this line was an idea in the mind of God. An mm-hmm. idea. And the beautiful thing of an idea is this. You are an idea of God, which makes you a child of God. Now, what father don't want the best for his child? Mm -hmm. The child needs to know that they know. Yeah. You trust in the wisdom that created you. Don't validate yourself. Allow others to validate who you are. Know thyself self-actualization. My heavenly father says, my birthright is happiness, success, and abundance. Birthright, that's right. And abundance. See, in the, in the earth that we are in, everybody wants a piece of the pie. Mm-hmm. And somebody gets shorthand. That's the earth <laughs> school. In the heavenly realm, when you come to serve, the universe, abundance. You don't have to have a piece of the pot, abundance. When there's abundance, it don't end. How can you end something that's endless? Our God is endless, so abundance. We don't have to have a piece of the earth pie and compete and, and fight over it and all of that because it's just a piece of the pie itself. But when you belong to abundance, you tune into it. You don't have to go out and achieve abundance. You just tune into it because abundance comes to the giver, the server. Mm -hmm. It comes to. You just got to follow the principles of God. Mm -hmm. Be willing to do the will for which you are sent. And what is that? You are here in in the earth school. Here I go again, Mm -hmm. Mm Shelly. In the earth school, your job here or your task is not for you. Any gifts or talent you have is for others. You come to serve others your gifts are for me, my gifts are for you. Mm-hmm. Our gifts are not for the person that has the gifts. Right. And understand, you didn't earn them, he gave them to you. To perfect the kingdom, kingdom business. Mm-hmm. You know, it's amazing when God get a hold of you or you allow him and he takes the things that don't look like him out of you, because you allow it, you, su- you, you, you submit to that. What you used to love, you come to hate. 
Well, maybe not oh, hate you. Just don't. And what you used to hate, you come to love. Mm, 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 mm. He said, well, what, what is our mission? Great lovers. When you go anywhere, blast them with love. Just blast them. You know, it's kind of like Wonder Woman, all them cartoons, not cartoons, they blast them. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you're a blaster. I'm going to blast you with love. I'm going to blast you before I get to the interview. I'm going to blast you here. I'm going to blast you there. You Amen. just blasting people. Before you get to this, I'm going to an interview. I'm not going along. I'm bringing all the people that love me with me. We're going to wow. blast you. When I come through the door, I'm blasting. Yeah. Blasting people with love. Mm -hmm. That is what our heavenly father is about and we and, and it's attractive it's what now and it's attractive it's attractive oh, oh, yes yes it if, is. if we if we want to put it in in the dating realm of everything it's attractive yes it is it is very so mm -hmm. it's I very remember. attractive you're gonna you're yes. gonna find you know you you talking about you looking for your man your mate or you you know you can't wait for your mate to to show up you walk around with that light, trust me, he going to show up. Yes, it's a yes, it is. Yes. Mm -hmm. But it takes a whole different mindset. Yeah. Not focus on thyself. Mm -hmm. It's awakening within you. That's where it happened. So, you know, when we compete with the world, that, I mean, that, that's a struggle. That's a struggle, you know, power struggle. You don't have to do that because understand the power that is within thyself. We, we don't, we, it's so powerful that it scares you. And I don't know if I said this earlier, but our deepest fear is not that we are in it inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. Mm -hmm. because we, that is our deepest fear. Sure is. Sure but that's yeah. because, he said, well, why is that? Because we live in a fear-based world mm -hmm. that promotes things. We hear it all the time. You said it earlier, Shelly. Mm -hmm. how, how they put negativity on social media and this and this, if you do this, this, all of that's undergirded by Satan. Mm -hmm. Who voice do you need to hear? Mm -hmm. I, you got to keep continuously hearing his voice. And how do I do that? Stay in this presence. No, no, you was talking about light. When you walk out, you affect the world. The world don't affect you. You are infected, <laughs> but you're not affected by it. How do I say that? Well, because I know the truth. I know the truth and what truth look like. So what does that mean? That means I work and understand that, and I said it before, poverty has many roots, but the tap root is ignorance. We're not gonna be <laughs> ignorant to the truth. We know truth and we're going to stand on truth. That pushes us forward. I hear what social media is saying, but I don't entertain it. Right. I don't entertain that. You're in the world, I'm, but you're not of the world. Oh, absolutely. That's it. Yeah. You know, I'm, I, I'm, I'm in the earth school, but my thoughts are heavenly minded. <laughs> <laughs> So I know, yes. as the song say, I know who I am. I'm a child of the king. And no matter what you say, it's not what you say, it's what I believe. It's what I answer to. I don't answer to a voice that don't sound like my heavenly father. That's right, that's right. I don't answer to that. Don't answer that. You want to an answer? I don't have one for you. My answer is no answer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No way. Yeah. <laughs> then it'll start calling you know, he 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 crazy. Well, yeah. call me crazy. Right. There you go. 
Oh yeah, because you gotta understand when you walk on a different path, expect any opportunity has opposition. When you walk with people you thought were their friend, then you walk away because you're not serving what they serve. They gonna even talk about it. He mm -hmm. done lost his mind. Well, maybe, maybe you think that. Maybe I found it. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I got I gotta share I gotta share something so you, that just brought me brought something to, to uh what just happened to me this week again or oh, was it what's the date what's the date when Thursday Thursday yeah this happened this happened last week so a friend mm -hmm. of mine called herself trying to be a matchmaker and and set me up with somebody and you know oh he's a nice guy he's a retired police officer and just you know running down all the good stuff right and uh she said, well, send me your picture and I'll send it to him. And then he's going to send you his picture. So I fell for the little trap, you know, because she talked about him so well. And I, I gave my picture. And of course, you know, she gave me his. And we both, you know, said, OK, the pictures look nice, blah, blah, blah. And this brother started, <laughs> you know, we, 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 we had one conversation over the phone. And in that one conversation, I knew without a shadow of a doubt that this was not it. <laughs> right. How Marilyn said, this, this is not that. This was not that. <laughs> and so you know i i hung up the phone and i knew i knew at that moment and the brother said to me i'll call you right back to this day i have not heard a call back yet mm -hmm. and so i called her and i you know explained to her listen i knew this wasn't going anywhere but i just you know i entertained it because you know being polite you know just trying to you know possibly take that take the information but like i say you know we we want to the minute you hear something the minute god pours something in you you got to go with that no matter how crazy it looks so she kept calling me crazy girl he's a good <laughs> man call him back why you ain't calling i call him for you i'm saying no 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 i take people at their word if you mm -hmm. tell me you're gonna call me back you're gonna call me back that's right and I think that's the problem with a lot of us when we're dating and even in our friendships, any any human interactions, we got to take people at their word. Yes. And, and they're, you know, if they tell you something and they show you who they are and it don't align together, that that that's it. That's your flag. That's it. Yes. And and as a as a as a you know, somebody's trying to get to know you, you would think if they if they valued or wanting to really get to know you, they will call you back because they're right. interested. They're That's interested. Right. They, they want to know a little bit more. But because I knew the moment he opened his mouth, I knew the spirit said to me, no, ma'am, nope, <laughs> nope, yeah. nope. Yeah. Because the conversation wasn't going in the conversation for a first time. It was going left real quick. Yeah. And so, you know, we just have to be mindful. You know, if you're, like I said, you're, it might, like you said, I'm sorry, it might look crazy to the world. You might look like, you know, what's wrong with this girl? This is a good <laughs> yes. catch. You, yes. you single. You're not going to find nobody else. You might as well take her. That's what she was saying to me. Mm. And, and, and now she knows. I said, don't you ever set me up again. Let me be. That's right. Let God, he that findeth the wife, let him find me. I, I got it. God's got it. Mm -hmm. You know, so we have to just, you know, follow those those red flags and your intuition listen to the spirit listen yes damn. <laughs> and, but this one was so simple that i think like i said i'm in, in earth school like you like you said you know my freshman year i would have fell for that mm -hmm. i would have fell for that i would have i would have called him like she said call him back girl he a good catch call him back <laughs> I would have called him back like, hey, brother, you said you was, you was going to call me back. You all right? That's an excuse. Yes, He's fine. Is. He's just not interested. <laughs> so, <laughs> Tracy, I see you open up your line, beautiful. What's going on? Oh, everything is good. Got a fall break tomorrow. Don't have to go to work, but I got a zillion things to do. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that day you got your second job. <laughs> Well, I do that Saturdays, but uh, mainly oh, getting wow. crawfish, going there, you know, running errands. You don't have time to run through the week when you work. <laughs> that's right. That's right. I'm. He I hear you. <laughs> when yes, you were saying all that, it brought one thing to my mind. My grandmother used to say about people setting you up. Uh -huh. Pick out your own shade tree. That's right. <laughs> because <laughs> because uh, 
you're either going to get a cool breeze or you're going to get some hot air. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love it. I love oh, it. Yes, yes. <laughs> I've had people to try to fix me up. Oh, he's a good guy. And all of this is a friend of mine, a guy she was dating her. He's he's gone. He's gone home now. But um, he was saying, Tracy looks so sad. And I was like, Tracy's not thinking about anybody. And I really wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So I listened to him. He uh, gave me the guy's number. You call him, and my friend took the number from me. She said, "No, nah, if he's interested, he needs to call her." That's, That's right. I never heard nothing from the guy, and I never thought nothing about him because every time he would say something about this guy, he was saying, "Oh, he's this, he's that, he's got this, he's got that." Mm-hmm. And I'm saying to myself, "This guy's either a player, or he's a player for the other team." So <laughs> He was a player for the other team. <laughs> oh, if you get my <laughs> so yeah. I'm like, I done been through enough rejection to recognize if somebody is interested or if they're not. That's this man right. never showed an interest. And time I well, he had knee surgery. I said, well, he's not going to dial the phone with his knee. Wow. <laughs> if he you wants to know- call me. Tracy, yeah. you want to know the funny part? You want to know the what? funny part of what you just said? What? That's the excuse she gave me. Oh, he's getting ready to have hip surgery next week. Maybe he just... Be- Girl, I said, well, he don't dial the phone with his hip. And he don't talk to his right. hip either. <laughs> Unless he's talking about wow. the phone with his hip. That could be another thing. <laughs> uh-huh, yeah. see? Yeah, the, 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 what did it say? The game ch- the game doesn't change, mm-hmm. but the players stay the, the same, something do. like that. Yes, yeah. Yes. But, this, but, but Shelly... Mm-hmm. I was thinking about, you know, listening to what you were saying, Shelly. I think I think this would happen in that too. He recognized he was over his head. Hmm. Okay. And yeah, because I the, I was giving him shade. I was giving him one word and answers, yes. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah. again, you, you instantly know. And that's yes. why it's so imperative to value your time. It's your time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and and realize that don't spend major time with minor people. That's right. I ain't, say, I ain't even saying I'm better than them. I'm not saying that. If you know up front, why pursue something going nowhere? Faith. Right. That's right. You know, you 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 wish them well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I always say send them love and green lights and move on. <laughs> green love light, it. it's on. Green yes. light. It's on. And that's that your time is valuable. And, and I'm also starting to see, Mr. Joe, it's not even an age thing because I thought maybe no. it was an age thing. This brother was 53. 53. It, 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 <laughs> he's a whole 10 years older than me. And yet here I was willing to you know, give an older guy an opportunity. And it was, and the first thing was, well, can you send me a body picture? Here we mm-hmm. go again. Wow. What is going on? That's, that, it showed you where his head is. Yes. That's all I just, it is. I could, it, it threw me off and it just turned me off. Yeah, <laughs> all in one. Far. Yeah. All in one. Yeah. First well, the man I talked him. about last week was in his 60s. That did that. Jeez. Yes, mm-hmm. I, I'm like, and he's talking about, well, I'm still trying to find myself. I say, you might as well stop looking. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in your 60s and you hadn't found yourself by now. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I'm like, well, he, you get to a certain age, you either know what you want or you don't know what you want. That's exactly yeah. true. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and so I'm 55 and I know what I want. I definitely know what I don't want. And yeah. I guess my, I have a friend that says I'm too hard on me. And I said, they don't have a problem being hard on me when they're trying to manipulate me. So I don't wow. have a way to protect myself. <laughs> that's mm-hmm. right. See, there you go. Yeah. There you go. This, and then that took time, right? That took time yeah. to get to that point. Oh, yeah. 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 It's, 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 it's time to be fully in the present moment. That's where you should be living. Your, mm-hmm. your energies are in the present moment. Mm-hmm. Know thyself and love thyself. Yeah. Love, the, love the skin you in. There's no other. I think we have to, you know, a lot of people have the fact 
of low self-esteem, all of those things, no confidence. When you're confident in who you are, you will have courage to be the person that God wants you to be. And then you're going to be comfortable with thyself in your skin. All of it. <laughs> yeah, all that. And to know it's all right to be me. Mm -hmm. It's all right to say no. I don't. I don't do that. Yeah. And then if it's if somebody push you harder, you say, "Get back." Mm -hmm. You don't get a chance to talk to me any kind of way. Mm -hmm. That's right. You do not. Not did you not know that I'm a child of God? Stand on that. Stand up in that. Yes. I said it before, there's a place within each and every one that we must keep pristine and clean. Mm -hmm. Nobody gets a chance to violate you. Not at all. You can't do that here. Here, you don't get a chance to do that. Because mm -hmm. that place is the very place that you go to meet God. Mm -hmm. You got to keep it from being polluted. Mm -hmm. You can't bring that to me. I won't accept. It. Yeah. So you be on your merry way. Goodbye. Yes. <laughs> and we have to we have to detach from any weight that keep us from looking like God. That's I'm it. Make Christ detachment. Detachment right. is the only vehicle that's going to keep you. Get you from striving to arrive. Detach. Mm -hmm. Whatever keeps you. Because you deserve. Understand, you deserve. Yeah. You deserve. No matter what that looks like. No matter what no that matter looks what like. You deserve. Never lose sight of that. Yeah. Never lose sight. You know, I, I, I wanted to say something. And again, if anybody got something to say, I mean, in the chat box, you know, we, we're waiting to hear people heart. We want to hear the heart. And, uh, you know, a lot yeah. of the time, yes, we want to hear the hearts that's out there. It looks like Marilyn is back on the line. <laughs> I, I've been listening all night long and I have been enjoying, you know, just listening to, you know, everybody and where they are right now and how we're standing up in our truth. And, you know, Shelly and, and, and uh, Sheena, I know you guys were talking about, you know, the importance of coming in to support groups like this so that we can prepare ourselves because that's what it's all about, being prepared for, you know, what it is that you are believing God for. And, and then another thing that I'm hearing from everybody is learning how to stand in your truth, who you yes. are. You know, so that uh, all I kept hearing was uh, this book by um, uh, Dr. Van Moody, The People Factor. And he talked about how important it is for authentic to meet authentic. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And, uh, and until you come face to face with truth as to who you are, come into an agreement with how God has created you and be okay with that. Be okay with your rhythm be okay with your values, be okay with, you know, the season of life that God has you in. That's your, that, that's standing in your truth. You're going to meet somebody at that same place that you are in. But if you're standing as a counterfeit yes. and you're trying to make people believe that you are somewhere that you are not, mm. you're going to run right into that as well. You know, mm -hmm. so our main thing tonight is to make sure that we, uh, everywhere we go in our truth is that we walk in love. You know, That's people right. go through things. I think we were talking about that uh, a couple of weeks ago. We were talking about the R. Kelly situation and how, um, you know, that it, it's so unfortunate that, you know, something like that would happen. And, and I think Shelly's question was, how did it get so far out like it did, you know, before, you know, reeling back, that back in? I think any time that you, um, you, you, you drown out love, you're able to do anything. 
That's yeah. right. Because love is what's going to keep you out of places like that. You know, the Bible says that you love your neighbor as you love yourself. It's hard to love your neighbor when you're not thinking about your own self, when you're not caring about yourself. That's and right. so in order to stand in our truth, we got to learn how to show people how to treat us by loving ourselves, you know, the way that Christ loves us. He said we're fearfully and we're wonderfully made. You That's know, right. there's no good thing that he's he withholds from us. And sometimes God got to put us in time out for a long time for us to get the message that yeah. it's all about love. It's not yeah. about time. Right. It's not about time at all. You waiting yeah. on a maid. How long is it going to be? <laughs> I guarantee it is not. God is not in time. God is no. in obedience. Yes, that's, that's right. right. He wants right. to know, will you be obedient, you know, to love your neighbor? I know you went through something in your past relationship or whatever, but will you love your neighbor? You know, first of all, you should be attracting who you are. And if this is what you're attracting, it's either going to tell you a truth about yourself or it's going to reveal some things to you. And if you don't like what you see, you definitely want to go in there and do some, you know, what they call minor adjustments to it. All right, God, I saw that. I don't blame yeah. that on anybody. And if this That's is fine. a desire that I want, you know, someone in my life, Father, help me to walk in, in truth with that. Help me to face it. Am I being very judgmental? You know, am I being very harsh with individuals? Have I not forget, forgiven someone from my past? Because when I look at this particular individual, they remind me of someone else. And then also when we start talking about certain things, what's the first thing that jumps out to me? Is it distrust or is it love? That's right. It, it'll tell it'll tell a whole lot about, you know, where we are. And I think that if we'll learn how to walk in our truth, you know, we'll be we, you'll be bound to keep moving forward because every day God's going to continue to keep pulling back layers. And eventually we're going to run into the people that we desire in life. And it's going to be like, where have you been all of my life? And the only thing they can say, I think we were waiting on truth to catch up with truth. <laughs> you know? So that's, that, right. that's my little thing tonight, Joe. Oh, yeah, that was great. That's great. Waiting on it? truth to catch up with truth. truth. With I truth. love that. I'm going to steal that, that one, is. too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the thing about we learned in these sessions, there's always a takeaway. There's always something to bring there's always um, something that, you know, maybe um, provokes you to think in another direction, provokes you to move here. I never thought of it that way. Wow. Those wild moments, those, those um, um, peak moments, aha moments, um, flow, whatever you want to call it. I think you alluded to that earlier. Call it what it is, but that's really living life with a rhythm. You got a rhythm out here. You, you know, in life, I always say life loves the liver of life. Bring mm. it to life. You're not here just to, um, God don't save us by grace to live in disgrace. No. Wow. Yeah. No. No, the voice. What voice? Are you listening to? Truth is beauty and beauty is truth. And the truth is as ageless as the mountain and as deep as the sea. Deep calls unto deep. Higher dimension calls unto a higher dimension. Spirit calls unto spirit. You keep growing. I know I harp on that, but I don't harp on something that I'm not doing myself. And it's growth. Teach, but be a student a lifetime. In the yeah. earth school, Shelly. In the earth school, In the Shelly. earth school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a sophomore, y'all. Yeah. Learning, growing, yeah. teaching, all of those things. We learn what we teach and we teach what we learn behavior, your fragrance. Arm yourself up for this world, y'all. But mm -hmm. be the fragrance of God. Marilyn said it best. Love. Divine love will meet every human need. 
Let's mm-hmm. put it on. Let's put it on the billboard. Divine right. love will meet every human need. And let me and, say a little bit more about divine love, if I may. Divine love is like this. It never changes and it never varies. Now, human love varies and changes. Spiritual love never changes, but varies. So divine love is that principle. Divine love is that rock of Gibraltar. You know, when we we was talking about the innermost, the depthness, the within you, light shining out of you. See, let our light shine out of Jerusalem, the city of peace, because I've been hanging out with the Prince of Peace. Shelly, you was talking about peace. Peace is not just the absence of conflict, it's the presence of the Lord. It's nothing, it's, yes, carry that peace with you. Don't allow people to disturb your peace. That's right. It's amazing. We are phenomenal, Mm y'all. Don't allow anybody to tell you you're not. And we're coming into a whole different arena. The arena is changing around us steadily. All change is not good. People don't need more information. They need answers that work. That work. work that mm-hmm. work. Mm-hmm that hope that people need, maybe you. You know, it's a lot, we go to church. Are you a church goer or are you a prophet? <laughs> Gotta ask yourself that. They say, well, Mr. Joe, what are you talking about? I'm talking about what I'm talking about. You know, the prophet comes to speak against the lies of the world. Many lies out here. Mm -hmm. Truth, the only way you correct errors is to bring truth to it. You are that truth. And the thing about it, you know, you don't have to have the office of. We wait, be the change that the world, do you want in the world? Even if it just do something, a small group, we don't even have to be, but be about the solution instead of the problem. What they are doing. Who are they? They. I'm so tired. I'm so tired of they. I'm tired I'm of they. They, <laughs> they going to do it. What you going to do? They. Mm-hmm. Who are they? You know, you them over there. So yeah. <laughs> them over there. Mm-hmm. I mean, you waiting on that. I mean, it's it's a it's it's a clear thing that it's evident on all polls that you can look and hear whatever. I don't watch a lot of television, but I can watch around and see what's happening. So what I'm saying, it's true. The polls are saying we are headed in the wrong direction. We don't have a true north star anymore. The ruler, the you know, the thing to guide him. It's it's not true north. We just head it. I always said direction is better than speed. We're headed the wrong way. Mm-hmm. And we can't wait on day. They, them, them will take care of it. No, we have to be about our father's business. That's each and every one of us can bring something that's positive. Um, I, I, I did something 
called, and I'm going to spend just a few minutes on it. It's called Got to Get It Right. Number one, God is speaking loudly, but do we hear, do, do we have ears to hear? He's telling us to turn back to him. All polls convey the thought that we are headed in the wrong direction. We don't have a true North Star or moral compass. We lost our rooter, a rotor, however you want to call that. We're moving forward, but we have no direction. We're seeing right before our eyes. We are seeing a, right before our eyes a complete collapse and crisis of American values. We have lost a sense of common good. We find that common good is not so common. There's too much silence or quietness going on. We know that silence is God's one and only voice. And in silence, there are many answers. I always say that. But many answers that God gives us in silence are not to remain in silence. Mm -hmm. we, are, we as the sons and daughters of God must ask ourselves this question. Are we church goers or prophets? We love following Jesus, the healer, which makes us feel good. The one who fed hungry crowds. But when you flip Jesus over, you have the Jesus, the prophet who contended, contested, and confronted. He spoke up for the underdog. A prophet is a person who says no to everything that is not of God, one who speaks truth to a culture of lies. We are at a cross over time in history. These things have become noble lies, rampant narcissism, political suppression, national self-centeredness, institutionalized fraud, and economic slavery. Gotta get it right really means get right with God which means alignment with the source of everything. Allow God to reveal and fix what is broken within us. African proverb says that if there's no enemy within, the enemy outside cannot do me any harm. You are not, you may not get what you want, but you get who you are. Wow. I just, when you truly understand that love is radical, the love of God is real radical because it mm -hmm. comes against a fear-based society. Mm -hmm. On every hand, don't do this, don't do that. You do this, this is gonna happen. The boogeyman gonna get you. <laughs> you like the boogeyman, you know, you heard that stuff. I mean, it's just anything to keep your mind all over the place and not centralized in the things of God. But you can't mm -hmm. listen to that. We talked about that earlier, and I guess I'm referencing that and saying it again. But we have to think about what we're thinking about. And, and not lose our focus. When God say, shall it move? Yours is not to say, why me, God? Just say yes. Mm. Anybody. I'm not just picking on you, Shelly. That's all right. Pick on me. <laughs> <laughs> you can use me as your little saying, boy. You right. know, anybody on the line, when God say move, don't say why me. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And when the when when the things of Satan come against you, don't say why me. 
when you walk in with God, say, try me. Mm -hmm. You don't know who's walking with me, do you? I can show you better than I can tell you. <laughs> that's right. That's show right. Show me stay. And that's a state. <laughs> now this that's that's walking in confidence. That's walking in reference of knowing you are the child of God. That's walking in that confident air. You know, I don't think I can come from a deeper, I don't think I am. We gotta get away from that. Yeah. I'm not what they say. Get rid of day, mm -hmm. tune out day. Get into another flow. Get into the flow of knowing, ooh, I'm unique. How you know that? Because God says so. Yeah. God said, tune into him, don't lose tune. Get on that frequency and don't lose that. Because everything out here, anything outside of you is a struggle. Mm -hmm. But there, eliminate the struggle within. Get into enlightenment. Get into the true power, not outside. Power outside is not power. <laughs> Power over others is not power. Nope. That's weakness. True power is available and within you at all times. You are a powerful person. Mm -hmm. Tune into that. You know, I don't, this is on my heart. I don't want to do overkill on any of this, but it's important, words of God always go out. It never comes back void. Yeah. And we are ambassadors for the King of Kings. Let's queens and kings, let's rock our crown well. It's already been bought and paid for. Right. Let's just walk in it. Mm -hmm. You know, I think we went to a lot of different places tonight, heartfelt. You know, I always say, you know, when you love, don't wish that God is in your heart. Wish that you are in the heart of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. There, there in that place and inspire, inspiration. When you are inspired, you can say, Here, look out world, here I come. <laughs> <laughs> I come. Here I come. Here I come, I'm coming. And your life moves in all direction. You're like, wow, I can see clear. The rain is gone or however they say, everything. Even when the, a cloud, I see that the sky is still blue. It just got a cloud over it. Y'all let us be rainbows in somebody's cloud. We all had clouds, but we had rainbows. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Um, yes, so um, I guess it's about nine, 10. Um, welcome any um, comments um, from anyone. If anybody has something on their heart they want to leave with us as we call it a night. Um, I know Miss Miss Cheryl is uh, sorry, Joe. <laughs> okay, go, no, go ahead. ahead. Miss Cheryl just wanted to thank you. She said thank you for all the nuggets. I she appreciates your godly masculine energy tonight. <laughs> oh, but thank her you know I just hope that when you hear we all speak from our heart we are allowing ourselves to be the vessel and speaking right. reference God with that all of it belongs to him 
And that's what we want to reference is we speak the things, we allow ourselves to speak his word through us. And that's beauty. But I do appreciate what she said and thank you. But, well, I know I appreciate you, Mr. Joe. Tonight, um, like, you know, piggybacking off of Cheryl, the, the masculine energy, I think that, you know, a lot of us, I'm going to speak for myself, really, you know, I don't have the opportunity of having my father in my life anymore. So I don't have that to, you know, hear him talk. And I feel like God placed you in this room um, for that particular reason for me, because I feel like the things that you're saying, I believe my father would have said that to me, you yeah. know, if he was still here on this earth, I think he would have been speaking these words into me. And so I, you know, I thank God for, for you being able to coherently and, 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 you know, uh, with, with, uh, without, you know, Brown beating us and making us feel bad. You, you tell it like a TIE is okay. <laughs> and um, I, I love that about you. I love, you know, listening to your nuggets. It, you know, I've, I've written so many down today. I, 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 you know, I'm stealing some of your words and probably posting it tomorrow. <laughs> so, I, you know, I thank God for you. Um, uh, we, I appreciate you. And it's like everyone else, we appreciate you. Um, and just for that, just for the fact that I don't have, I don't hear voices like this every day, you know, so it's a blessing to hear from you on a Thursday night to just kind of speak that, that masculine energy um, into some of us that don't have that in our lives right now, uh, whether it be a father figure or a, or a husband, we just don't have that. So to hear that, you know, I look forward to your, your, your comments. Sometimes when I'm having to host or I'm having to, you know, step up, use, step up to the platform, I love getting your feedback because I don't get that every day. So yeah we appreciate that, that feedback. And honestly, I don't know if there's any men like you out there left. I mean, I think you might be, you might be the last surviving man. I don't know. Say it, Shelly. Say it, Shelly. <laughs> because I don't, I don't know who's talking like this. And as a, I don't know, Cheryl, help me out. Cause I don't know. <laughs> you know what? It is, it is a gift that you have the ability to speak lovingly with correction mm -hmm. and encouragement all at, at the same time all at the same time yeah that is definitely of god and um you take the time every week to be amongst of you know lots of women there's not always another male voice here um <laughs> and every single week like, this is just a testament of God in your life and your obedience to us, you know, um, that you take that time every week and your demeanor is the same. The same. It's never different. You don't never seem tired or like, oh, I didn't say it this 100 times to them or whatever. <laughs> you always come every week really, really fresh. And um, we don't take you for granted. Mm -mm. thank you not at all and you, just, and you should know that oh, thank you very much you know the thing about it again i think when god pricks your heart and it's about pricking it's about growing it's about sharing it's about attaining and it's about giving all of that is 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 when you are sold out to something better you want better for all concerned you you want to bring something that heals mm -hmm. and even when you speak you heal yourself as well as others because yes. the word of God is powerful so that's kind of where I'm at and I mean I enjoy the just being able to sit and talk and I get feedback so it's good for all concerned when you're in a circle like this there's synergy and there's energy there's an energy of life. There's a, there's, it's, it's, it's good to be in the space because in that we pull energy off each other. And we know first and foremost, when we gather like that and we talk about God, he has to be a part of that. So um, I, I thank you for that. And uh, um, Merlin, you have any comments? 
Uh, maybe she, maybe she I, called. Oh, I oh I'm sorry. The, I share the sentiment of, of the ladies as well. And Joe, we appreciate you so much in your 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 wisdom and your love for God's people. It speaks volumes, you know, and uh, I wish there were a lot of other men that were like you and it wouldn't be so hard for women, you know, even to take out that time. Uh, one day we're going to interview and find out where all that came from, you know, <laughs> where it all that encouragement and all that love and you know, because y'all I've been knowing Joe for what, 36 years now? And he's been the same for 36 years. Mm -hmm. And can't nobody just stay like that without there being something that's a, that's a great force behind him. So uh, Joe, we just we just applaud you. And and one night we just gonna let it be a Joe night. <laughs> we just gonna right. celebrate, we gonna celebrate Joe all night long. Amen. But, um, yeah, man. Yeah. But thank you so much, Joe. We appreciate you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. And I guess we will, uh, if all hearts are at rest, um, Kelly, we, I mean, Shelly, I'm sorry. Will you pray <laughs> us out? <laughs> sure. <laughs> will, you, will you give us a closing crash, Shelly? Yes, sir. Father God, we thank you once again for another beautiful, beautiful Thursday night. Lord, I thank God for every voice, every woman, every heart that is on this line tonight and the ones that weren't able to make it. I ask you, Lord, to just cover us and, and let those words just marinate tonight in our hearts. Let the words that Mr. Joe has spoken, let it just sit there, still, peaceful, in our souls and resting. So we have peaceful rest tonight on the word that was, was poured out tonight. I thank you in advance for everything that you're going to do from this day forward. And we love you. Amen. Amen, everybody. And Amen. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Amen. Y'all have a wonderful night. Good night, y'all. Good night, Bye. everyone. See y'all next Thursday. Bye-bye. <laughs>